We all know. We all know about Aaron Jones on that surface. The Vikings are so scared of Aaron Jones on that surface. They don't know what to do. And now Daniil Hunter's not there. And and Gakwe is 249 pounds at defensive end. We've got three outside linebackers that all weigh 25 pounds more than he does. (laughs) How does that even happen? I don't know. But a 6'2", 249-pound defensive end, let's just run right at him. Oh, I don't even care where he is. If he's over on the right, run to the right. If he's on the left, run to the left. Run right at that little tiny guy and let guys <laughs> – let blog – or oh, my God, I almost said blog. Whoa! Bakhtiari. <laughs> Bakhtiari, Lane Taylor, Jenkins, Corey Lindsley, and whoever the crap plays right tackle, just run right over that guy. <laughs> Plus, the Vikings, they went and signed that big – uh, defensive tackle guy from the Ravens, and they're like, woo hoo hoo And then he said, nah, I don't want to oh, play these guys okay. this year. So they don't got a big guy in the middle because they let Lenville Joseph <clears throat> go. So they're like, uh, we thought this guy's going to be the guy he didn't want to play. So let's run it up the gut, too. I don't even know who the Vikings got on the defensive line. They got a guy who weighs 249 <laughs> pounds and a bunch of nobodies. Let's run it right at him. Let's run it right through him. Let's AJ Dillon him. Let's Aaron Jones him. I'm telling you, what I'm excited to see. It's a Packer team that runs for 250 yards against the Vikings defense, the big, tough Vikings defense with a bunch of skinny guys and no names on the defensive line. Eric Hendricks can only go so far. I mean, I know he's a great middle linebacker, but he's one guy. They got a bunch of rookies at corner. Who the heck are these guys? I don't know. (laughs) Ben, I asked you for one thing you were excited about. That's what I'm excited for running the running game. That's what I'm excited for. All right, Eric, uh, did you happen to watch our show where I gave the Packers the best new formation they could possibly run or even see the clip? I broke it out into a clip. Did you see it? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. The, the top secret, not top secret. Cause I told the Packers what to do on our show <laughs> formation, which was a center, two guards on each side of the center and two tackles outside of those two guards, one wide receiver, Aaron Jones and Aaron Rodgers in the backfield. That's it. That's not enough players. No, it's a perfect amount of players. And it's a perfect formation to run in this game. Now, what Ben is alluding to he's is... Got seven, he's got seven offensive linemen. You're right, it's seven, not enough players. Oh, we have a tight end. That's right, Sternberger's in there. Sternberger, <laughs> Sternberger's there. Yeah, 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 he's in there. One other guy to throw the ball to. Okay. okay. And Blaga's tackle eligible, and the other tackle is Stop actually not a Bulaga. tackle. Stop with Blaga! Why are you talking oh my about Blaga? Stop it! What You're, is wrong? Uh, that's it. You're muted. You're muted. What is I'm wrong muting with me? you? No, I'm muting you, Jesse. You, you-, <laughs> you get 30 second timeout penalty box for saying Brian Bulaga's name twice. And as Brian, what is wrong with you? You hammered for getting rid of blood. You led the charge, the quest <laughs> for Brian Bulaga out of town for how many years? And now you can't stop saying his name. All right. You're unmuted now. Unmuted. Oh, I'm asking you to unmute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never done that to anybody before. Unmute, please. Sorry, Ben. I'm just playing around. I'm just playing around. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, fine. 